This is the path I used to run on when we lived here in Austin. Just kind of bumming around town today, just uh, going to places I we used to go. Also, I woke up this morning to the news about Anthony Bourdain. That makes me really sad. He was one of my heroes. He had a way of speaking and writing that was frank and honest and also poetic and just like sort of I don't give a f and I really like that and it's I'm just thinking about that and I'm thinking about Austin and about how there's this whole idea of make Austin weird and don't move here basically what it's about is don't change Austin what made Austin cool make sure it stays that way when a thing gets cool when it gets so cool and people want to join in they co-opt it they come in and they and by co-opting it they change it the reason it was cool in the first place was because it grew into what it was organically in a way that no one knew about. That's the idea of being a hipster, right? You like something before it was cool. And I'm guilty of moving here because I wanted to experience Austin because I think it's really cool. That's something that's great about Anthony Bourdain. He would go to places that people weren't going to and show you what made it so great. But then he'd go to places that were also already very popular and show you that there's still great things about them. The thing that the cool places grew out of, the heart of them is still there. And if you want to keep something authentic, you want to keep it real and keep it uh, about whatever it, it was about when it started, you have to guide it through change. You have to accept that it will change. I don't know, I guess I'm just sad that Anthony Bourdain was unhappy, felt it necessary to take his own life. But while he was here, I feel like he did important work. He did really good work. And it kind of makes me want to do more with the time that I have. I don't know where this is going. I've been doing this 11 years. YouTube's constantly changing. Everything's constantly changing. I think when I started, my mantra was dare to be pointless. And it's still kind of that. I still feel like it's important to not feel like everything that you do has to be so important. Maybe I need to live like that more often. Just enjoy the process of whatever it is you're doing. Enjoy the ride. And things will definitely get tough sometimes and it'll be really hard to find the good in whatever's happening. But it's my belief that things are always changing and whatever you're going through now. But it's my belief that things are always changing and whatever you're, but it's my belief that things are always changing. Whatever you're going through now, good or bad, you're gonna get through it. And I hope if you, and I hope, and I hope however you get through it, really don't know how to end this. Maybe that's the point.